This month on The Card Life, presented by Loop. Didn't do art for 15 years. Now I get to draw baseball cards for tops. It's a thrill. You can work 12 hours a day and it feels like four hours. It's not like going to work and dreading waking up in the morning. I opened up in 1990. Been in the same location for 31 years. How about that? Just right there on the back. Welcome to The Card Life, presented by Loop. I'm your host, Matt Strom. And this month, we're in the center of America with a show all about Nebraska. This month, we'll introduce you to two people in the hobby who call the Cornhusker State home. One an artist and one an entrepreneur. We'll also tell you an inspiring story of the hobby community coming together to support the children of a former major leaguer. Up first, an Omaha artist whose work has been seen on Topps Museum Collection and Topps Gallery Cards since 2019. My name is Josh Trout. I've been an artist my whole life since the age of three. Went to art college, got out, and didn't do art for 15 years. And 2015, I, I decided I, I really need to get back into it. I joined Instagram and I didn't know what a sketch card was, but that's where I saw them and I started following any artist that did sketch cards. Started just cold calling basically, emailing or messaging random artists, how do you get into sketch cards? And they said, just start doing some, posting, see, see what people think. I did that, I did uh, a Mike Trout. This is like uh, my first dollar of the business kind of thing. And I posted those and people really liked them, so Top sent me an email. I think they're always kind of looking for artists, kind of keeping their eyes out. So I was fortunate enough to get onto that boat, so I've been enjoying that ride. 2019 Museum Collection was my first set. And I did 40 cards, so there's the bow. Reese Hoskins, Pujols. For some reason, Yelich gets, my Yelich gets picked every year. The first 2019 set, you're just, you're in awe of seeing your work on a baseball card. A couple months later is when I got an email for Gallery. So I didn't know what Gallery was, but it's an all artist set. So that's another kind of cool thing. So this is the Mike Trout that really stood out as, as one of my favorites. Um, the Noah Syndergaard with his crazy eyes. Oh, there's the titties. It's awesome. It's a mashup of what I collected as a kid and I stopped collecting because maybe I didn't think it was cool anymore or, you know, I moved on to other things. Now I get to do, draw baseball cards for tops. It's a thrill. Dustin May, I was a huge fan of him and the image that I settled on, everybody just seemed to love with that fiery red, yeah. This year I got approached by Super Glow Cards. It's player exclusive rights with the athletes. Mac Jones, JT Daniels, and Sam Howell were the, were the first three names I was given. So that was pretty cool. For every so many you do for tops, you get one card that you can commission. You get a blank card, it has, it has a printed design um, you know, border, all that, and the back is all printed, but the, the middle is blank. There's an amount of cards that I have that I can commission out. People just contact me. I've always liked the mixed media look to things, so but when I got into sketch cards and asking what do people use, Copic Markers was one of the big names that kept surfacing, and I, I knew kind of how they worked. So I've been learning basically the last three years how to perfect it. So the first cards were a lot of Copic and then a little bit of colored pencil. Now it's evolved into every piece gets the majority of Copic Markers and then adding in acrylic paint for a lot of the detail. Now I'm airbrushing some, but yeah, it's, it's a true mixed media. I just keep building and building and I feel like I'm producing a good product that people like. 
and that I like, that's actually one of the most important things. Because if I don't like it, then I don't want to sell it. <laughs> Up next, I rip a box looking for some inserts of a Nebraska legend and find a Super Bowl legend as well. How about that? Just right there on the back. <laughs> Why bother with empty shelves at retail stores, waiting three days for a break to fill, or driving across town to find out your hobby shop closed at four when you always have a card show in your pocket? With Loop, you can instantly buy cards, packs, boxes, or into auctions with the click of a button and do it all while chatting with some of the best personalities and the best community in the hobby. Download the Loop app now on iOS or Android. Loop, a card show in your pocket. Growing up, Ersted was a legend around North Dakota, and I grew up collecting any baseball card of him along with all the Minnesota Twins. Actually, his rookie card is my light switch plate in my childhood bedroom still to this day, so that's kind of cool. But then I was also fortunate enough to not only collect him as a, as a child, I was recruited by him to go play baseball there after my second year of junior college, but I decided to go in the draft instead. So. I got a nice little phone call from him about not going to Nebraska and the most awkward part of all of it is, I mean, he was my childhood hero and I was ecstatic to be recruited by him and then to have to make that phone call and to just know how disappointed he was kind of kind of stunk, but it all came full circle actually like four years later in Kansas City, the year I debuted was Nebraska night at Kaufman and Alex Gordon came and grabbed me and he's like, hey, you got to come meet Ersted. And I was like, oh, I don't know if he wants to meet me because I turned him down four years ago. And Gordon was like, he's a great guy, it'll be fine. And I was like, all right. So we went out there. He introduced me and Ersted shook my hand and he gave me a, a little smile and told me I'd have been there a year earlier if I would have came to Nebraska. Sportscards.com is the official sponsor and online store of The Card Life and supplier of the packs and boxes I rip every month. Thanks to sportscards.com again here for sponsoring this show's break. And since we are covering Nebraska, we are going to get into a 97 medal. Maybe find my boy Ersted, went to Nebraska. He's still a North Dakota guy though, but we'll, we'll let it go. And then we also got 2012 update looking for Harper, View Darvish. And then we have, with it being the Super Bowl, we will look for a Montana rookie here in a 81 tops. So bust up this and uh, see what we get. We'll start with the uh, Montana. What's it say here? 59 cents at the grocery store. Wow. <laughs> well, how about that? Just right there on the back. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's see how we can get this out of here without messing it up. This is nuts. Alrighty. Well, I'm just gonna put this right into a sleeve. Top left corner's ding, but again, Joe Montana. Can't really. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is cool. That is awesome. We got some gum that we are not going to eat. This gum's older than me. <laughs> 10 years older than me. It's 40 year old gum. Hey, that's gotta be a cool one. Super action Archie Manning. Let's go Ersted hunting. 1997 Metal Universe. Edgar Renteria. That is a loud card. There we go, Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> Here's another bionic arm thing. It's like they gave someone a sticker book and were like, here, just place these on the cards randomly. <laughs> John Waston. I would really like that leg. That would that would help me out a lot. That front metal <laughs> leg. I wouldn't have to do all this rehab. Oh boy, what do we got here? 
This is Bill Mueller being abducted by a monster. <laughs> if there's an Ersted Redemption auto for a monster grabbing him, I have to, I have to find it. There's a Derek Jeter. Chipper Jones. Melvin Neves. Mariano Rivera in a bat cave. Barry Bonds. What we got here? Mining for gold, Scott Rowland. There we go, Darren Erstead. Got him. Alrighty, so 2012 Topps Baseball Update Series. See if we can get a Harper rookie debut. The other fun thing about these boxes is all the packs. This is more my kind of box instead of the one pack rib. There's a U Darvish rookie. Look at that hair, Mark Trumbo. And there we go, Bryce Harper rookie debut. There it is, the kid. Millwood, there we go, Mike Trout all-star game. Plenty of rookies with, uh, got, got what we were looking for with the Harper debut. And then you got the Trout all-star game. SportsCards.com is the official online store of the card life. Check your local card retailer for their New Jersey Fusion product, which includes a special Card Life edition featuring Matt. Whether you're a longtime collector or just started investing in the hobby, Cardbase is the premier app to effortlessly manage and monitor your sports card collection. Access our daily updated database of millions of cards, create watch lists, track your portfolio, or watch trends in specific card markets, including the hottest cards in every sport. Stay on top of the sports card market with Cardbase. Download the app now on iOS and Android or on the web at getcardbase.com. Loop is proud to be the presenting sponsor of The Card Life. Here are some of the best break hits from the last month. Hello, but how about the Ant-Man? Black gold, seven of eight. Mm. Pele, Ronaldo, Neymar, triple 101 auto. Join the Loop community now by downloading the app on iOS or Android. Loop. A card show in your pocket. Yeah, I, I'm willing to work with people, man. I mean, that's kind of what today is. I'd rather sell it to you guys than put it online, you know? Let's do it. I lost my job in January of 2021, and I was watching YouTube one night and saw a video on the top 10 sports cards, and one of the cards on there was a Michael Jordan rookie sticker card. And my dad actually had that card. My dad's been collecting since he was a kid. His dad actually collected as well. Our collection got built on Walmart and Kmart packs actually. He would go to Kmart after work, buy a box, um, bring it home and we would rip it for fun. He would go to the local card shop down here. He loved Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. So we started going through our stuff and realized we had this really awesome collection. That's where To The Moon Collectibles was born. Uh, yeah, these are the big, big two hitters in this one. We got a Zion 9 and a Lonzo Ball Gold Wave BGS 9.5. Before we knew it, we started an Instagram page, 6,000 followers strong. We're live seven days a week. We don't go on there to sell most of the time. A lot of times we just go on there and chat, talk about the daily news because the hobby is changing every day. I love what I do now. I hope that this is a forever. I wake up in the morning, post some cards, and the nice thing about this is you can work 12 hours a day and it feels like four hours. It's not like going to work and dreading waking up in the morning. Um, it's awesome. When Fanatics made all their moves, they estimated this hobby as a $20 billion industry, and they're expecting this hobby to grow to a $200 billion industry. There's so much more out there to be 
accomplished and we're ready to go to the moon. Why bother with empty shelves at retail stores, waiting three days for a break to fill, or driving across town to find out your hobby shop closed at four when you always have a card show in your pocket? With Loop, you can instantly buy cards, packs, boxes, or into auctions with the click of a button, and do it all while chatting with some of the best personalities and the best community in the hobby. Download the Loop app now on iOS or Android. Loop, a card show in your pocket. Whether you're a longtime collector or just started investing in the hobby, Cardbase is the premier app to effortlessly manage and monitor your sports card collection. Access our daily updated database of millions of cards, create watch lists, track your portfolio, or watch trends in specific card markets, including the hottest cards in every sport. Stay on top of the sports card market with Cardbase. Download the app now on iOS and Android or on the web at getcardbase.com. I am Wes Johnson. I'm the owner of Wes's Baseball Cards in Lincoln, Nebraska. During high school, I was always buying cards and stuff and doing shows, helping a guy do card shows. And then started helping a guy do a store in 1987. And then I opened up my store in November of 1990. I've been in the same location for 31 years. It's grown from just a, a few shelves out in the middle to now pretty much being jam-packed. a lot of different things. Uh, early on it was like wow this is a lot of fun and then things sort of tapered off after the baseball strike. It's like oh no what's going on. Started going man should I keep on doing this? Should I do something else? But you'd have spikes and so some good years and some not so good years. Right before the pandemic hit I went down and saw the Lakers uh, Pelicans game. Come back all of a sudden, NBA said we're suspending the season. I thought, oh no, here we go again. Back to 2008, 2001, things are going to go down. I was like, oh great, here we go again. And then just how things just changed and people were coming in and buying cards and buying cards. And I was just so surprised on how people were still collecting cards. And then just talking to more people saying, hey, I just got my card collection out. Uh, I want to keep collecting. And so things just kept on going up and up since then two things. One was a Jackie Robinson rookie and actually just listening to the gentleman's story of him, how he got the card and, and bought it at a store and, and he just had a handful of cards and it just happened he had a Jackie Robinson rookie in there. Um, and then I've really only seen one Mickey Mantle rookie card that have come in. My Ricky Henderson rookie. Well, that's one that I'm going to always keep. I've had that since 1980. Not graded. I don't care if it's graded or not. It's uh, sentimental value to me. In his eight seasons in Major League Baseball, Jacksonville native Ryan Friel gained a cult following among fans for playing the game with reckless abandon. His style of play took a toll. He was forced to retire because of his injuries. Friel suffered more than 10 concussions during his playing career. In retirement, he struggled with alcohol addiction and depression. Ryan Friel took his own life just three days before Christmas in 2012, leaving behind a wife and three young daughters. It was later discovered he had CTE, a degenerative brain disease. Twenty-three hundred miles away in Bozeman, Montana, Matthew Christian runs an online sports card collector network, the Sports Card Connection. Checking his messages one evening, one unusual one stood out. At first, I didn't realize quite what was going on. Um, he just sent me kind of a vague message. I'm looking for my son's cards. Once I figured it out and I put two and two together that he was Ryan Friel's father, that's when I reached out and said, "Hey guys, let's 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 try to find him some cards." Ryan Friel's father, Patrick, was trying to create binders for his granddaughters, Ryan's children. So Matthew asked the online card collecting community for help. Their response was incredible. 
And within three days of my post, I had tons of cards coming in the mail from all over the country. And one was Guatemala. I mean, I had them all the way from Canada. You know, they started searching their collections. They started even buying cards. You name it, uh, we, we got it. The final collection sent to Patrick Friel filled two large boxes, around 25 pounds each, more than 3,000 cards in total. The biggest hope for Matthew is the collection becomes a way for the Friel girls to fondly remember their father's career. I lost my father when I was 10 years old. I don't have a whole lot. So when I see those memories, like his wristwatch or a business card, those are huge. You know, they give me they give me that feeling back of what it was like when he was around, and hopefully it'll give them that feeling about their father and even the sports car community stepping up the way they did. One of my favorite things about the hobby community is how we all come together to help some great causes. Why bother with empty shelves at retail stores, waiting three days for a break to fill, or driving across town to find out your hobby shop closed at four when you always have a card show in your pocket? With Loop, you can instantly buy cards, packs, boxes, or into breaks with the click of a button. And do it all while chatting with some of the best personalities and the best community in the hobby. Download the Loop app now on iOS or Android. Loop, a card show in your pocket. Loop is proud to be the presenting sponsor of The Card Life. Here are some of the best break hits from the last month. Honus Wagner, one of one, on bat autograph. Oh my Ooh. God. How about a Mac Jones auto printing plate, one of one with the patch. Holy cow. Join the Loop community now by downloading the app on iOS or Android. Loop, a card show in your pocket. So some of the highlights from Strom Stadium pulls this year, um, I would have to say they were probably early in the season in my spare bedroom, unfortunately not in the in the stadiums, but pulled two toddy cards out of two blasters. That was really cool, the rookie cards. Gave two to my brother and he didn't hit toddy in any of them. We cannot complain one bit. Got two of them. As far as product goes, one of my favorite products they released so far this year uh, was the Topps Flashback. Um, they've done that back to back years now. That's kind of been a favorite product of mine. Contreras, Nolan, ooh, there we go, Crony. That's a really cool Crown Worth card. Hey, got both teammates right there. Hansung Kim, ooh, we got a gold. It's a rookie too. Daz Cameron Gold, very nice. Numbered to 50, I believe, yes. Very nice. Next season, once uh, once my knee's all healed, it'll be a, be a lot more pulling in the stadium, and that's, that's honestly what I look forward to, and that's kind of what Strom Stadium Pulls was designed for, not so much the spare battle. Right, we'll start from the back here. We got Cabrera, Harper, that looks green. We got Hebert Ruiz, number to 50, gold. Very nice. That's all for this show this month. I'm Matt Strong. We'll see you next month on The Card Life, presented by Luke. <laughs>